Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Tammy. If it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. I'm doing an assumption video for the first time ever. I've never done this video before. So many of you are assuming things and stuff about me. Some of the assumptions I'm like, really? And some I'm like, I'm glad you think this highly about me. So I'm going to have my coffee here. I'm going to be sipping on my coffee while I you know, reply your assumptions and I'm going to be very, very truth truthful. Hey Jesus, English is hard. Oh God, let's take a moment to appreciate this beauty. Even without makeup, you guys know I'm a gem. Anyways, I'm a fine girl. Like So the first one, I'm not I'm not going to mention anybody's name, but they are here. Like I'm reading from here. The assumptions are here. So the first one is I assume that you were into keto full time. Honey, I was desperate to lose weight. That was what made me go into keto. And being the stubborn person I am that I like food a lot, I will still go back to eat rubbish. And before you know it, I fall back into keto again because that is how I know you know how to lose weight without suffering myself without trying to do any restri restriction of any sort aside the fact that i won't have carbs sugar and all that but i will still eat things that i love eg fatty food and protein and i still get to lose weight so keto is like a how do i put it is like my weight loss god i run back to when i'm like in sin i run back to god that's how that's how keto is for me so whenever i feel like uh, whenever i want to lose weight rather i you know run back to keto which of oh, speaking speaking of which very soon in like a week i'm going back to the keto diet because i've been eating rubbish in this country like i've actually been eating rubbish <laughs> nah i can't because i've been eating so many nonsense in this country because the Ijekuje is cheap, like ice cream, lolly, chocolate. Nah, I have to get back on track with my life. My stomach is literally hanging. The next one is that you like to jaye. Definitely, I like to jaye. But the type of jaye I like to jaye is inside my house, is inside my room. Like, I'll look for something to do inside my house. I'll jaye from morning to night in my house. I keep saying it, I'm a homebody. I like being home, I like staying at home. Everything about inside the house excites me, so I like to jay. Another one is I honestly don't have, unless I honestly don't have, but I feel people take you for granted quickly. That was then. No, I don't even care. I, I don't care if you take me for granted. It was before I used to feel bad. I used to feel bad that people are taking me for granted. Why can't you be, you know, be like one faced like me i'm not saying i'm that good or, or i'm not i'm not saying i'm the perfect person rather but if you can just be your shame no con you know con ma you know don't be too faced i don't know how to put it in english but i just wish people will be honest people will be straightforward with what they want because me, i'm always straightforward honest i'm like <laughs> Oh, anyway, Sha, if that was then, I don't even feel bad again. I'm like, if you, if I see any signs of you, you know, trying to move somehow to me, I'll cut you off. Thought you wouldn't do anything school again. You seemed more business oriented in uni. Yeah, we went to the same uni for undergrad. Yeah, I thought so too. I thought a rich man was going to sweep me off my feet and marry me and I'll be a full housewife, a trophy wife, but as it is, I have to hustle. I have to hustle myself and become a, <laughs> a I don't know, woman in tech. <laughs> I have to become like a, a rich person myself. I have to fend for myself, so staying back in Nigeria wasn't it for me. Nigeria, for me, oh, for me, I'm not saying you if you are watching and you're in Nigeria. For me, Nigeria had nothing nothing to offer me and I, I was here although I was comfortable I was very very comfortable in my parents house everything was fine 
but you know that comfort that is uncomfortable i don't know how to put it it wasn't making me be on my toes it wasn't making me you know want to strive or anything and i was like you know what i need to change the environment i need to live here because many of the things i want to attain ah, if i stay back in this place so i don't think i'm going to attain it i might even eventually just do a full video of why i left how i packed my bags and said you know what i'm leaving the next one say you have added yes i've added it's not even an assumption it's a fact i have added see i can show you my back row now i've added <laughs> Ah, God, my battery is low. Anyways, the next one is you are the realest. You can never fake shit. Mm -hmm. Well, I try to. I try to. See, no matter how much I try to fake. Mm -hmm. This is my, my rasness. <laughs> it's not rasness, but my realness. Let me put it that way. Like, the real me will always come because it's fun. The real me is fun. Even for me, I like being real because it's fun for me, myself. It's, it's funny. It's very very interesting to be myself. All that fake stuff is tiring and nah I can't. Okay, the next one is not dumb, but you have plenty money and you like to pretend you don't. I wish you I wish my brother. What's what I say you have money, you have money. Anyway, sure, I have money in Jesus' name, but then I'm like, how much is the money I have? It's not up to what I meant to be having, you know. But I'm the kind of person where a long time ago I said I'm not going to ascribe age to my um, to my success. I'm not going to ascribe age to my achievements. But at my age, oh, I know how much I'm supposed to have if I had, you know, been serious with my work, my business and everything. But then other things take priority. Like for now, my studies is priority for me. Even YouTube is not priority for me. You guys notice that I'm not even uploading as I I was, you know, often uploading when I just came here. I used to do like five videos in a week, four videos in a week, at least three videos in a week. But now it's one video a week. <laughs> so I wish I had the money you are saying I have, but no, nothing is impossible. I'll still make it in Jesus' name. One said you like white guys. Why don't I like white guys? Are they not human beings? Anyway, I've never dated a white guy before, but. Who knows, who knows, who knows, who knows, who knows, who knows tomorrow. We never can tell. Many of them are cute. So, if you're a white guy and you like black queens and you're watching this video, call me. Call me. Okay? The next one says you come from a wealthy family but you like to play humble you come from a wealthy family but you like to play humble first of all is my family's money it's not my money i will work for my own money mm? uh, the family that me i come from i don't, I don't know but the family i won't come from my say me i won't come from the family i come from we've been brought up in a way that they don't let you see inheritance as something you should you know rely on something you should be expecting sis you didn't work for that money you did not partake in the manufacturing of the money go outside and work for your own money don't rely on not that it won't touch you or you know you won't be cared for with the money or they will not take care of you with the money but Go out and work for your money. It's not your own. You should be the inheritance for your children. If everybody's relying on inheritance, inheritance, one day the inheritance will finish. So go out, work for yourself. You know, they've done their part for me. And I cannot just keep collecting, collecting, collecting. I have to also go out and work to my own money. So, yeah. The next one says, you have a boyfriend, but you hide him. I wish. Have you seen a scene? I'm not even the type to even. I don't think I, I I'll come here and display boyfriend in the first place. But then I'm like, which boyfriend? See, I can't even start telling you about dating in this country. Like, I'm fed up. For now, for now, I am not interested. I have zero 
zero interest in dating in this country right now it's exhausting if you think nigeria is exhausting when it comes to dating when you get here oh, nah you see old people like that not old people old people people in their 30s people in their late 30s people in their early 40s if you just like listen to like listen to what they say just you'll be wondering what's going on in your thought process how are you thinking this way you're like I'm done meeting people. I have no interest. If it happens, it happens. For now, I don't have energy. I don't have energy. Again, it's when I just came, I was really excited. <laughs> I'm going to meet someone. See, as I'm talking, I'm getting emotional already, but I can't. I cannot, can. I cannot. This text assumption says, I am neat. Of course, I have to be neat. Like, who else will clean my space for me if I don't? And f I feel your um, your space, like wherever you are, is tied to your your men mental health. For me, if my space is messy, like I get drained mentally, so I always have to make sure my corner is neat. The next one is um I, I I am close with my parents. Well, I am close with my parents, but there's always one parent you are closer to. I'm not going to mention it here, but yes, I am close to or I'm close with my parents. The next one says you fought with your best friend. First of all, who is my best friend? Who is my best friend? Anyways, I didn't fight with anybody. And if you mean my best friend, I used to mention my best friend, we didn't fight. Oh, so we didn't fight. We are still friends. I don't know where you get your gist from, but I don't know. Maybe you feel everybody should be posting people that they are friends with two for seven, but nah. People have stuff to do. Another one also says you are a rich kid but like to pretend. I, mean, I don't know if we used to get this your information from or anyways thank you for the prayers amen i'm a rich kid but like i said earlier for the person i said oh my parents are wealthy even if i'm a rich kid the money is not my own it's for my parents i'm i'm well they will use it to take care of me to the best of their own knowledge and me being a you know responsible person with two hands a brain a body i will go out and work for myself and make a living for myself i cannot be you know depending on my parents money forever in life I also have a life to build, I have a career I want to achieve. It's their money, it's not my own money. So if you're out there and you're thinking that your parents' money is your money, blah blah blah. Well, it's your money, but then you know you can achieve more if you go out to work. Even with the resources that they have, you can just use it to empower yourself. Something sort of in that line. So yes, they have money. That's why they're able to fund my education here. And that being said, I'm going to use it to like achieve something in life i hope you understand that so that is all the assumptions i got if you did not ask me any questions well too bad another one will come up another time maybe for now this is the end of this video because i've obviously answered all the questions thank you so much for watching if you have any um new video ideas you want me to film please let me know in the description box and if it's your first time here i have been skeptical whether you want to subscribe or not i am here to tell you to subscribe it's free that's the good part it is free it's just a button on the way left hand side just click subscribe that's it i promise you're going to binge <laughs> you're going to binge on my channel okay if you have any video ideas you want me to film let me know in the comment section and if you if you any other what inquiries please make sure you send me a mail i'll see you in my next video bye